There is a call for the fishing industry to be properly regulated as a number of fishermen are in breach of several diving practices. Now, these breaches are costly to both the government and the families of those who end up in life-threatening situations. Shamela Pullen brings us the final in a two-part series in this Primetime News special report. On average, at least 14 persons, including tourists, are seen yearly at the Hyperbag Treatment Facility at the University of the West Indies Marine Lab in St. Anne. This facility treats a number of ailments, including decompression sickness, also known as the bends. Essentially, they are treated for five and a half to six and a half hours, getting this high-pressure oxygen, and the high-pressure oxygen actually helps to shrink the nitrogen bubbles in addition to helping to heal the damaged nerves and muscles that the nitrogen impact has had on the body. With an increase in the number of divers suffering from decompression sickness, the facility is expecting to see a doubling of that number this year. Safety Director at the lab, Camilla Trench, says already the chamber has treated 13 cases, all of whom are divers. Mr. Trent says due to the impact COVID-19 is having on the economy, more people are now out of jobs and some are turning to the fisheries sector for survival. You're traveling from Otrius in the morning and you see the same six fishermen you see every morning. Now you're seeing 20 fishermen and some of them are absolutely, completely strange faces. They're not the regular fishermen who normally fish. As a result, there is now the issue of too many fishermen. And with the scarcity of fish, divers are going deeper to catch fish. Mr. Trent says five years ago, fishermen diving with a compressor, although illegal, would dive up to 80 feet. But now they're diving twice that depth, which is not only dangerous, but illegal. The times are also more because they have compressors as compared to air tanks on their back. Both of which are illegal to fish, by the way. But at least with a tank... You are limited by the amount of air in the tank. When it's finished, it's finished. With a compressor, you have an unlimited supply of air. So what does that mean? That means that these fishermen, if they are not mindful of their time underwater, they are breaching their dive time by several hours, which puts them at very high risk for decompression sickness. I'm inside Jamaica's only hyperbaric chamber that has treated and saved many divers. But sadly, many have become paralyzed or have died due to illegal and dangerous diving practices. And the treatment can be costly, starting from a subsidized figure of $130,000. And another big cost, if this person needs to be airlifted, it costs between a half a million dollars and a million dollars for each airlift. Because the principle is that if, for example, if they're on the south coast and they need to come to us on the north coast, they cannot go over the hills because the change in pressure will make their illness worse. Mr. Trench is calling for the fishing industry to be properly regulated. Meanwhile, medical doctor Fiona Pinnock is making a plea to divers to follow the protocols when diving. We will teach them that they need to take X amount of dives per day, how deep to dive safely, and how to ascend from a dive safely to avoid decompression sickness. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.